Welcome to the world's largest cheese pizza challenge! <laughs> hey guys, it's your girl Peggy Cheese Pizza here. Welcome back to my channel. Look at that, I got us the largest slice of cheese pizza. <laughs> Okay, so I got this pizza from Big Mama's and Papa's Pizza here in North Hollywood. They specialize in large pizzas. So as you can see on their wall, they have a variety of sizes. And this one right here, this is like the largest slice. 54 inch by 54 inch Sicilian slice. And this is the one I'm getting, the Big Papa slice. So the Big Papa slice, it comes in a really big box. And that is Big Papa. And it comes with its own pizza slicer as well. So I got us the Cheese Lovers Pizza. There is mozzarella, there's ricotta, there is parmesan, and there's cheddar cheese. Ooh, look at that. Yummy, 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 yummy. Man, this is huge. <laughs> I think this is the world's largest slice of cheese pizza. Yeah, and the cool thing about the pizza box is that it doubles up as a costume. Look at that, you can wear the pizza box. This is gonna be my Halloween costume. So this is actually my second time eating the Big Papa Slice. <laughs> yeah, the first time I ate the pepperoni. This time around, I'm gonna challenge myself to finish the whole thing. <laughs> yeah, I'll do my best and eat as much as I can. So place your bets down below how much you think I can eat, whether you think I can finish everything or half or three quarters, and what is the time you think it'll take me to finish whatever I finish. And if you get it right, I'll send you this big giant pizza box. Oh yes, before we begin, I want to show you guys my latest drawing. Ooh, check this out. I just completed my drawing of Lionel the Lion. It is done with colored pencil and ink. Yeah, so the video of the drawing process is now up on my art channel. So if you guys want to see how I drew Lionel, <laughs> head on to my art channel. I'll put the link somewhere on the screen or down in the description box below. Yeah, and let me know what other animals you guys will let me draw as well. Ooh. Alright, before we begin, let's do some mandatory before eating flexing. This will empower me. Alright. Ha! 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 Alright, let me start the time. Alright! Oh my god, how do I start? Okay, let me start from the tip. Ooh. Cheese lovers pizza. Ooh. Mmm. Oh my god. Mmm, so good. Mmm. Wow. The ricotta cheese is so creamy. Mmm. All right. I'm done. I'm full. Cheese is really filling. And I'll put that in. Thanks for watching. Oh my god. Mmm. Wow. Wow. Mmm, so delicious. Mmm. You know, the dough is made fresh daily. You can taste the cheese. It tastes really fresh. Mmm. Wow. This is so delicious. If you love cheese, you have to try the cheese pizza. hair my cheese oh my god this is so heavenly mm. yeah this cheese is filling I'm not sure even I can make it to half. <laughs> we'll see. Hmm. What? Let's mukbang the cat. 
He's a busy body cat. He likes to insert himself into everything I do. Hmm. Oh my god, the ricotta cheese is so delicious. Hmm. You know, I could probably use the leftover pizza to make something, you know. Like a uh, leftover pizza lasagna or something. Ooh. Mm. Maybe I can try that, but let's see how much I can eat first. Oh my god, this is so delicious. The combination of all the cheese, the tomato sauce, just melt in your mouth. Mmm. Wow. This is like the surface of the moon. You know, the moon is made of cheese. Alright, here comes the Joey Chestnut question. I'm sure Joey Chestnut can finish this whole pizza. It's time. You know, how much time do you think you'll take Joey Chestnut to finish this big papa slice? You think he can finish this in 10 minutes? I think he can. I think he can. He'll probably just roll this up into like a tube and just eat it. Hmm. Yeah, so how are you doing? How's your summer going? <clears throat> are you guys enjoying the summer? Ooh. Cheers to cheese pizza. And the cheese burps. <coughs> Ooh. Uh. Ooh. Uh. Ooh, that was satisfying. Yeah, so are you guys enjoying the summer? You guys go to the beach? Go swimming. Hmm. Hmm. Oh my God. Dude, God, this is so good.
I should have weighed the pizza first before eating. I don't know, from the feel of it, it feels like three pounds or something. So what's your favorite summer thing to do? We have a little pool here. So I started swimming again. Do you guys swim in the sea or go surfing? Mmm. I love the edges. It's like, it's crispy. Mmm. Wow. This is really good pizza. Mm. By now, Joey Chestnut will have finished this whole pizza already. I wonder how much cheese there is. Like you use like two pounds of cheese or something. Mm. You guys had to go on um cruises. I've been on a couple of cruise with my parents. I think the best part of the cruise is the buffet. The buffets, the dinners. Mm. But other than that, that's it for me. You know, I, I don't gamble. So for me, cruise is like pretty boring. Other than the food, of course, you know. Mm. 
you know, it'd be great. Go on a cruise and do a like a twenty-four hour mukbang buffet challenge. Uh. Just eat buffet food for twenty-four hours. You know what I should do? I should like for every video sit on a weighing scale that shows my weight. You know, and as I eat, you can see my weight going up. Right? Is that one of those scales where the screen can be, you know, here, and every food challenge you can see the amount of weight I, I gain during that challenge. They should do that at the 4th of July hot dog eating contest, you know, make, make the contestants stand on a skill and then as they eat, not only can you see the amount of hot dogs they're eating, you can see their weight going up. Okay, would you say I'm about half? I only ate the tip. Oh my god. I only eat like a regular mama slice. Hmm. Cheers to us. You know, speaking of weighing myself, I think I mentioned this in a video before, I don't weigh myself. <laughs> I don't like weighing myself. The last time I weighed myself was like, I think a couple of years ago for the driver's license thing. I was 125 pounds. Is it 125? I don't remember, but yeah. So ever since then, I don't weigh myself. I don't need to know the numbers, you know? <laughs> I get depressed looking at the numbers. Oh.
So in my mind, I'm always 125. And I remember seeing on the news, there's this thing called, uh, don't weigh me or something. I, I don't remember what it's called, but it's like a don't weigh me thing when you go visit a clinic or something. You know, like if, if weight is not an issue or is not needed, don't weigh me. I, I can understand that, you know, because there are a lot of people like me. I don't want to know my weight, you know, so... <laughs> the last time I went for a checkup, they had to weigh me. I stood on a scale, I didn't look at the scale, you know, I was just looking, ooh! I was looking off, and I told the nurse, don't tell me my weight, you know, just record. I mean, record down what the weight is, but don't tell me, you know, just, I, I don't want to see it. What do you guys think? Maybe from now on, all the medical checkups, they should have an option, you know. Do you want to know your weight? If you do, you know, you can look at it. If not, we will record it without you looking, you know. I think they should have an option, you know. Do you guys weigh yourself often? I mean, like, if you're working out and you have a target weight to get to, then yeah. Or you're building muscles, you know, your weight gain is like a muscle gain, then yeah. I got that. I know some people, they weigh themselves every day. Like every morning they wake up. I mean, it's good to keep track, but I find that really stressful. <laughs> like if, if I wake up t tomorrow morning after this pizza, I'm all bloated. I gain five pounds, then I'll be like depressed the rest of the day. Ooh. So I'd rather just not know, you know? Ooh. Oh my god. How much have I eaten? Uh. I think this right now is like two, two little Caesars pizza, right? Eat the sides. Oh, crispy. Mm. What do you think Italians think of this? What do Italians think of American pizza? Any Italians here watching? I 
Any Italians here come to America and try our pizza? What do you guys think? Is it good? Is it way off? Why is it Americanized? No, well, it has to be Americanized, right? I mean, if you want to make it here, you got to adapt to the taste here. Is that asking me what I think of the Chinese food here? I'm from Singapore, by the way. I was born and raised in Singapore and now I've just moved here for two years now. I think the Chinese food here, um, it's pretty good if it's uh, opened by um, Chinese. Not Panda Express though. Panda Express is more of a uh, Americanized Chinese food, you know, it's not really authentic Chinese. I like Panda Express. You know, I, I, I like its taste, but it's not really authentic Chinese. My husband, he said some people really think that Panda Express is really Chinese food, like the real authentic one. Some people actually think that. Well, it's not. If, if you think Panda Express is how Chinese food actually is, then it's not. <laughs> Ooh. But if you go to like good places, like, um, Good tear this. A couple of years ago, uh, we went to New York. Ooh. Oh, wow. And we went to Chinatown. Yeah, a lot of good Chinese restaurants there. It's, it's like so good. The noodles, dumplings. Ooh. We opened by a lot of Chinese people um, from Hong Kong, Taiwan. Their dim sum places is so good. And then next to Chinatown is Little Italy, right? I had the cannoli. Wow, that was so good. Have you guys been to New York? If you're looking for good food, like good Italian food, good Chinese food. Go to the Chinatown. It, it's, it's super good. Ah, I miss New York. I have to go back there again. And go try one of the, um... Italian restaurants there. Anyone here from New York? Hmm. Hmm. Oh. My God. Okay. Based on my feeling, I think I can finish this piece and I'll call your day. Wow, it's almost 30 minutes.
Holy shit. You know what? I can use the leftovers to make like a leftover pizza lasagna thing, you know? Add some more stuff on top and bake it. I'm so tired of the chewing. Mm. Okay, I'm done. Right. It'll take me like maybe an hour if I try to eat the whole thing. Here we go 31 minutes 24 seconds for this much pizza left <laughs> i'm trying to ratio it how much did i eat Let's see this is what i've left compared to the whole thing so how much did i eat i don't know is this half is this considered half <laughs> okay so if you guess that i ate half um in 31 minutes 24 seconds exactly right down to the second i'll send you my leftover pizza as well as the giant box that you can use as a halloween costume so put your fake address down below and i'll send this to you wherever you are even on the moon yeah so be sure to subscribe for more awesome food challenges like this feel free to suggest other food challenges mukbangs as well yeah so be sure to go check out my lion drawing right and let me know what other um, animals you guys would like me to draw. You know, I'm, I'm kind of dr into drawing animals now. So I'll definitely draw a cat, you know, um, what else? A wolf, snake. I don't know. Feel free to suggest uh, what, what you guys would like to see me draw in um, color pencil. <laughs> All right. So my art channel and my art videos and my other eating shows that I just mentioned, they'll all pop out on the end screen to my left and to my right. So I'll see you there. Click on it.